Hello from our tiny Airbnb here in Seoul. For the entire day today, we're only consuming food and drinks at Korean convenience stores. There's four major brands here. There's CU, GS25, Emark24, and of course, 7-Eleven. We're so excited to see what kind of amazing food we can find today. Let's go eat. So me and Sandy have decided that we want to surprise each other. So we've actually gone in completely different directions. I have no idea what she's going to get. But uh, yeah, it's time to get some breakfast. I think I'm going to hit up Emark24. I think for breakfast, I'm heading to a GS25 convenience store. I think I'll get a coffee first. They have tons of selection for coffee, actually. It's nice. Ooh, you like BTS? You can get the BTS coffee. You get 20 grams of protein, less than one gram of sugar, and BCAA. That sounds pretty good. Kimchi fried rice with sand. That sounds pretty good, actually. I'm getting this one. Now the main problem with these stores is actually that there's too much to choose from. But I definitely need a coffee since it's early in the morning and probably just a small light breakfast. Maybe a snack for later on. A lot of choices for cold coffee. Some of them are buy one get one free, buy two get one free. Well this one doesn't sound super appealing. Flannel drip. Do they drip through flannel? I'm intrigued. I think I'm gonna try the flannel drip. These kimbaps are always good. Some sandwiches. Oh, a toasty. I've always wanted to try one of these. I think I'm gonna go with this toasty. Got my food. Time to head back. See what Sandy got. First things first though, I've gotta actually heat up my French toast thing. So, it says 50 seconds. I feel like it always tells you way too long and then you take it out and it burns. So I'm gonna put it in for like, 45, maybe 40 seconds. I'm not sure if we're supposed to open these first. I, I think you're supposed to open it. Or else, how does it like let the heat out? It's gonna explode. Then there, and then I don't know, this doesn't say anything. Just turn. We'll just yeah. time it ourselves. Yeah. Oh, that's very hot. Well, that's actually really good. Flannel coffee. Tastes like a lumberjack. My protein shake tastes really sweet, actually. That's a protein shake. What'd you expect? But it has less than one gram of sugar. Probably has, like, sucralose or whatever in it. I mean, if you're a sweet tooth kind of person, this is perfect. Because it's low sugar, high protein. It gets you really full in the morning. Um, this toasty, obviously it's not going to be crispy because, I mean, it was in the microwave, but I'm still really excited for this. Mmm. It's like French toast on the outside, so it's like a little sweet on the outside. Mmm. Kind of like grilled cheese, but better actually. It's really nice. Like this it. is like sweet on the outside. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, I'm gonna try my triangle rice thing. So we'll throw us up. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely tastes like kimchi fried rice. And the egg gives it a really good flavor to it. I really like it. Yeah, there's like a whole piece of like an omelet almost yeah. inside of there. That's really cool. Overall, I'd say breakfast was a giant success. And we will see you guys at either lunchtime or snack time. Whatever comes first. Mm -hmm. I am getting hungry, so it is time for lunch. I think I'm going to head to see you since I went to E-Mart earlier. And I want to try to hit up all the different convenience stores. I think I'll change things up a little bit and get something a little bit more Korean this time and maybe get some sort of cool drink. I think I'll go with this one, it has a nice variety. Now it's lunch time and I'm going to E-Mart to grab some lunch. Thank you, eating an into Ooh, that looks good. All right, we are both back from getting our lunches. I got the OG lunch option at a convenience store, bento box. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we thought about the same thing because I got a bento box as well. <laughs> the question is, whose is better? I like to think it's mine because mine has double meat. 
I think we kind of made a mistake. It was past lunch hour and all the good stuff was we were going. Oh, mine was full. Mine there was like tons of, yeah, there's so many options. The only thing they didn't have that much of is like a large drink selection. So I kind of, kind of got a boring, well, it's not a boring drink, it's a great drink. But it's Milkus, which sounds disgusting because it's like a milk soda. But I've had Milkus before, that's why I'm saying it's kind of boring because I've had this before. And I did want to try to get like some new random drink. Um, but they didn't have too many drink options that were like weird and random. The strawberry milk mm, drink. That sounds much cooler than mine. Yeah. There is a lot of milk options in Korea I found. And especially flavored milk. So I can't wait to try this. Mm -hmm. I think I have bulgogi as well. And then fish cakes. This one is like super spicy. So I think the way to do it is you grab some meat, you grab some rice. Mmm. That's nice. Like I said, I've had milkas before, but I've only had it back home. I've never had it in Korea, so maybe it's different. Wow, that is very carbonated. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a second because that almost spilled everywhere. Mmm, it's very sweet. I think it's a type of milk that kids will like. I don't know how I can explain milk is. It's kind of like sweet, but then fizzy, but then also milky and yogurty. But it's actually just like really delicious. It just tastes like okay. a little creamy. Oh, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like cream soda if you mix yeah. cream soda with milk, which is a thing that Just I like did a, as a kid. Like tiny bit of milk, not too milky. I mean, well, I used to do it as a kid. I used to do like 50% milk, 50% yeah. cream soda, and I don't know where that came from. I think my grandpa did it, and it tastes really good. And this is what it kind of tastes like. We're just gonna finish up our meal here, mm -hmm. and then we will see you guys probably for like a snack. We're just out for a little post-lunch walk and it is starting to get really hot so i think it's time to grab a drink and so we're gonna stop by the 7-eleven for a little bit before heading back into our airbnb when it comes to alcoholic beverages i find 7-eleven always has the best selection lemon gin i think i'll try that it's about two dollars all right, let's give this drink a try. It is a Sunhari lemon gin, 4.5% alcohol, and it was about $2. I wonder how sweet it's gonna be or how lemony it's gonna be. We'll find out. I've never had one of these yet, so excited to try it. Cheers. Kind of tastes like a lemonade. A little bit sweet, a little bit sour. That's really nice, I like it. This is perfect because I need to do some editing, so this will help power me through the editing. And then we'll catch up with you guys back at dinner time. So me and Sandy have been walking around for like the last two and a half hours now, so we're pretty hungry. So we just split off. She turned left a little while ago to go to, I don't know, I don't know which convenience store she's going to. But I'm going to GS25 since I haven't been there yet today. And it's time to grab some dinner. So generally I find the GS25 has like one of the best food selections, especially the pre-made stuff. And this one is no exception, they've got tons of stuff here. So they've got tons of bentos, but I already had a bento earlier. They've got some pastas that are microwavable. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab a couple of things and I'll show you guys what I get when I get back to the Airbnb. All right, we got our final meals, and I'm really excited for mine. I don't know if you're excited for yours. Yep, I'm excited for mine as well. All right, first little thing I picked up. It's called like an appetizer. I got this like fried chicken stick. It's like a little kebab of like five pieces of fried chicken, and it looks so good. I also got a small appetizer, but it's not exciting. It is these kind of meat skewers we've been seeing. Oh, yeah, yeah. At every convenience store, I always want to try it. So yeah. That's pretty good. Well, it's kind of similar actually, we both got it skewers. Is, yeah, it's similar. My main, I actually ended up getting pasta. Because this is another thing we saw so many yeah. times in the convenience stores. And they seem to be really popular because I always see like a lot of students grabbing them. And this was 370 so really, really cheap. And then to drink, I got this famous soda company drink. This looks really good. It's some sort of blood orange, zero sugar soda. Oh, 8.712 wow. calories. Wow. Australian made. So it's not actually Korean, it's Australian made. I got similar things there. <laughs> I got the rose, rose crescent. crescent. Yeah. It looks really good. 
It's funny that we got like similar, similar things for lunch and yeah. for dinner. For dessert, I didn't get a drink, but I got my favorite jello. Oh, you found it again? Yeah. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. It's nine calories, and you get to eat this whole bowl of jello. We also only have one fork in this Airbnb for some reason. Uh, we have lots of chopsticks though, so I'll be eating my food with chopsticks. <laughs> wow, that looks really good actually. Yep. Let's try my pasta first. It's very interesting. It's like the Korean rice cake sauce. Oh, like tteokbokki sauce. Yeah, mm. but creamier, like they added milk or something. This actually really good. Tastes nothing like carbonara, but it tastes really good. And the bacon's really nice. Uh, let's try our skewers. Yeah. Mine's like fried chicken. Mine does not look like meat. It looks like, I don't know, sausage or something. Mmm. Wow. This is a highlight. It's obviously not super crispy because I just reheat it in the microwave. But I think if you get it when they're like still fresh inside the little heating area, mm -hmm. they're probably a little bit crispy. Because even now, it's still a little bit crispy. Mine tastes like a mix of sausage and meatballs. Mm. It's really spicy though. Oh, is it? Mine's a little bit spicy, but not that spicy. Again, I think this will taste really good with beer or soda. Mm. Alright, give this thing a try. It smells not good. It smells like it smells like Jolly Ranchers. Oh, that's actually really good. That's not that's that's actually not that sweet at all. Okay. Doesn't taste I thought it was gonna taste like Jolly Rancher candy. Zero sugar though. That's really good. Like super light. Oh, so good. That's good, right? Mm -hmm. That pairs actually really well with this chicken. It smells really sweet, but it actually is not mm -hmm. that sweet. And I like the carbonation. It's really carbonated, which is great. Clearly, this was not a very difficult challenge. Everything was really good. Mm -hmm. If you come to Korea, you have to try like all of the convenience store food. You'll never get sick of it. And the best thing is that everything is so affordable. All of our prices, we listed them as you mm -hmm. saw and they're super super cheap but anyways guys this is it for us if you like the video comment and subscribe for more videos to come we'll see you next time see you guys Bye. in the next one